Right, well, we've got a little operation going on. Um, this is just a preliminary thing. I've got, yes, Ipper's Force. Yeah, that's all the battle cruisers. And some scouting cruisers and destroyers. All repaired. And because they've been sitting in port waiting for IZ Fleet to repair itself, and they still haven't, wherever they are there, uh, their efficiency has been going slowly down. So I thought, well, let's part them from the IZ Fleet, give them something to do, and bring their efficiency up to scratch. So we're having a dual thing here, we're having a mine layer, mine. <laughs> Lead mines at Great Yarmouth, and if this force is going to bombard it at the same time, I've got the pre dreadnought force coming down to Dunkirk. After if this force has bombarded Great Yarmouth, I will then direct them down in this direction south to cover my arse if you want. I've got a few. Uh, zeppelins we're going to scout out into the North Sea and hopefully find out what is what. Oh, you should not be coming back yet. I'll have to do something about that. We've got some. Oh, I've got another one. Oh, two lots of submarines here. Oh, right, okay. So we've got two lots of submarines here. Check it over. Another uh, submarine up here. Another submarine here. You know, keeping a high on sc scatter flow and commentary and recite. And of course, a few zeppelins as well. So hopefully, we might be able to stir up something. I really, this is just a preliminary thing. I really want to know what's what's that real scythe and maybe what's that commentary. Whether the uh, British fleet has split up and moved some of its ships to the scythe. I don't know, but I do want to know what's going on, and I can't get any information at all, so this is an extended operation. Hopefully it will draw out something from here. Now, I know my pre dreadnought force is slow, it's only got a sustained speed of 15 knots compared to a sustained speed of Hippus force of 22 knots, so this force is quite slow. I know I should be thinking, well, why didn't I have them going to there? I want them going down because, like I said, it's going to be an extended operation. Hopefully, it'll give time to stir up something from the British now. They may be out already, so that's another thing that's a little bit of a worry. But I've got this here, checking this area around here, but uh, nothing's perfect. So if the British are out, and oh, oh, there's another. Uh, Zeppelin checking this area around here, so I've got this area and this area virtually covered and these areas over here covered, the only area that's not sort of covered is this, this area here. Uh, I can't see anything really, ok yeah the Dover force is down there in force <laughs> but they've never bothered to come out apart from to go across the channel and uh, bombard Ostend and Zeebrugge but uh, apart from that, you don't see that. Well, the main forces never came out, and there's just a bombardment force. But if I can catch them and destroy them, that'd be all, all, all the better, I think. Um, apart from that, that is what we're going to be doing. I've got. Uh, I'm hoping. What I'm hoping, we might have. Uh, is it the fifth battle squadron? Uh, War Spite, etc. still here. We've maybe... Um, well, there were a few... Uh, although we destroyed the uh, British Battle Cruiser Force. I don't think there's all together. Maybe there was just a few of them left that was with uh, the High Seas Fleet. And hopefully they've moved them down to Rosyth with the 5th Battle Squadron. So, if they do come out, we have got uh, Hippus Force here, so I'm hoping, just hoping, maybe, just maybe, we got enough ships to cope with the 5th Battle Squadron. Okay, we're talking about 15 inch guns against 11 inch, but 
if we can get in quick and then get away, maybe we could do something. But then these are all mobis, uh, and nothing might happen to it. I've explained everything on that quite clearly. <laughs> no, me, I probably did not. Uh, this is our f first encounter. There's a few encounters. I don't say first encounter. There's quite a few, and this is this is after the operation at Great Yarmouth. We just uh, give Great Yarmouth good bombing, and uh, our mine layer made its mines and it's gone. It not no, I can't see it actually on the map for some reason, it hasn't showing up. Anyway, it's just, I was just giving the, uh, uh my force a little bit of practice gunfire, because they haven't, they haven't fired in anger for God knows how long. So, I thought it'd be a good idea to get some practice in. Otherwise their abilities will actually drop a lot, like I think I've explained before. Well, I think I explained a bit earlier. I remember I'm doing doing this later the, I'm recording this later on I mean there's, there's, there's about 20 bits of recordings all slapped together I think I've done here uh, so it, just just to carry on the series quite honest um, <laughs> so wait it took me a while was it? Uh, I think I started about midday and finished about five o'clock in the evening so I was sort of sitting in front. Oh, okay, I did pause and to have a go out and make tea and well in the evening. Well, by the time it got to about four o'clock, I was I was on my beer. <laughs> oh, well, I'm having a beer. All this recording and whatever, because um, because one encounter sort of led to another, and it's led to another, and led to another, and then and then it, that's how it goes quite often in this game. And uh, you can end up sitting in front of the machine doing a lot of recording and uh, trying to get some decent footage of something that, that, that um, we was, I think we was just firing at some torpedo but they could have been destroyers, I think they were destroyers actually, yeah I think they were destroyers, some British uh, destroyers. Um, there was a, a, in 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 the channel there are tons and tons of ships tons of them there's always something happening in the, in the channel normally a lot of french stuff in the english channel there's me showing off uh, me uh, the uh, uh, the pre treadnought fleet they're actually showing up on the map now because they're that close to us and we're head heading towards uh, uh, the French coast, and that's our, all those symbols you see above the above the skyline. They're all shore batteries, and we will see them actually in action in a very short space of time. And there they are. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, this is a bit weird because when the ship was sinking, everything suddenly went quiet. I don't know why it, it all went quiet. The battlefield decided we're not firing anymore. No one fired anything while the ship was sinking. It's only a pit little uh, torpedo, but a French one, I believe. So we're back in action now with one of our cruisers leading the line. Uh, no, that's on our left hand side. Uh, 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 a force. Why have we suddenly turned around? I can't remember because it is a bit of an old recording. I say old, about three days old from when I'm doing this over vo voice, voice over, over voice. <laughs> what am I like? It's voice over. Yeah. <laughs> That's typical of me, isn't it? Which, uh, and then uh, here we are showing uh, our. Uh, um, short batteries at Zeebrugge and Ostend firing at the French British as they try to I don't know, I'm not sure what they do they're trying to bombard the shoreline and destroy our batteries I assume I assume that is. they do get some big boys out sometimes the French and British mainly the British they got these um, huge great bombard ships I forget what they're called the damn things now I'll probably remember later uh, you know what I'm like I'm scared right? Uh, unlike a lot of other YouTubers who are very concise and, and uh, 
they're very articulated in their commentary <laughs> where I'm totally rat faced. Not that I'm 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 neutered, I'm, I've had a lot to drink. Uh, I've had nothing to drink at the moment, I'm doing this actually stone cold sober. Stone cold sober. And um and oh that ship sink about to sink actually. Yeah. I think they all sunk. Because I can't remember actually out what the tally was at the end. I think it was one over seven torpedo boats <laughs> that we sunk on on this on this day. Let's shine the uh oh there you are. Uh, not just short batteries, but offshore batteries as well. Um, that was, I think that's that. Uh, Ostend, or it could have been Zabruga. No, I think that's Zabruga, isn't it? Because that's further up the coast. So that must be Zabruga where those batteries are. Uh, not sure if we're going to see any more ships being sunk. We may have done. I, don't know, I just put a load of action and thought, oh, this might be fine. Might, might keep the people entertained for a little while. That ship is very stubborn. She will not sink. How do you pronounce that? Enzyme rocks or rope? <laughs> French ship. Yeah. No, we missed her. I'm sure we do sink her. I can't remember. Oh, certainly. A good go at it, that's for sure. And you can sink, oh, well, it is sinking, of course it's sinking. Things at the top to say, it's just, just taking a long time to use it. Pretty spectacular, isn't it? Little bits of over and over the place. I do like that one, that happens to me. That's pretty good. Uh, the, sh the guns fire, they're not pea shooters either, they 100 millimeters or up, 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 upwards from 100 millimeters, should I say. A lot of them are about 150. I haven't got the tape here, so I can't tell you what it was in the period. Damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this ship actually get blown up. It's pretty, uh, pretty unspectacular the way they get sort of blown up. I mean, one minute there, and the next bit, oh, they're gone. And that's it. I don't see a big cloud or a big explosion or anything like that. Uh, the concussion effect when the, uh, the shells hit and ships are pretty good, that's pretty neat. Um, but like I said, that, um, our, our forces are slowly working their way down to... Uh, I've forgotten where we're going! Well, no, I've, I, just, I was thinking about it earlier, I can't even... Oh, the ship's going to sort of disappear, I think. She either blows up or... I'm not sure what happens. She's running towards the shore and in an effort to beach herself. Is she trying to beach herself here? Uh, uh, she doesn't quite make it. There she goes. <laughs> Gone. Is that another ship blowing up? I'm not sure. You tell me. You tell me. Oh, I do not know. Oh, one of the things I haven't shown, I don't, or at least I don't think I have, is the ports. This is what the ports look like in, in this game. That anchor sign, that's a, that means there, there's a port there. It's uh, Ostend. Yes, Ostend. <laughs> so, what you do is you just uh, take your ship and uh, st steam it into that anchorage sign. And you just ask you whether you want to port dock or not and you go yes and that's it it's gone Got another ship here that's sunk it just hasn't gone yet she's going towards the port why is she going towards the port she can't get in the port she's an enemy and she's destroyed as well all right <laughs> hope you like that thanks for watching